everybody, Strike Survival here again. Today we're going to talk about instructions on how to change your wick out once it gets low. Now I've already changed mine out ahead of time, so I'm going to walk you step by step on how to do it. This was the wick that was in my Gen 3. See, it was pretty low. So, when you do this, you're going to take this, and you're going to unscrew the top like you would to strike it. And you can see that, of course I want to prop this up so it doesn't spill, um, where the wick is. So you're going to wipe this off, wipe the striking rod off, take some pliers or needle nose pliers, either one, and you're going to take this get the nib and use a little pressure and pull straight forward don't pull down or up pull this way you know take the nib put it to the side right there see i've replaced mine you can place your wick with zippo lighter wick or you can replace it with twine um Twine works just as good and it's very inexpensive for a roll of it. You can get it in any arts and crafts store and we've tested it. It works really, really good. Um, ours is a cotton twine. Um, the only time we actually sell this in bulk is if it's on a custom wholesale purchase. That's the only way we sell it just because it costs more to send an individual strand to a customer than it would for you guys to go out and purchase your own. It's super cheap. It's like a dollar thirty, sometimes a couple dollars. Um, the postage for us would cost just way too much for us to send you this. So we encourage you to buy it on your own just because you'll save a lot more money and you'll have a hundreds of them to replace. So when you get yours, you have to take it, fold it in half. Just like that. Fold this like that. Make sure it's kind of even. Doesn't have to be exact. Take and insert the folded in into the striking rod, creating a V. Sometimes you will have to twist a little bit like this. Make sure it's inserted. You want to leave a little bit up here so it's kind of flush with um, your nib. So you're going to fold these down like I just did. See how I parted it like that and I folded it down? What I do is take it, get your nib that you took out. This part goes in. The little part stays out. So you're going to take... Put your nib in, and seat it a little bit. You want to check to see the height on it, which is pretty good. Make a little nib sandwich, if you will, with your string, and you're going to push down a little bit, and it will seat this properly. Sometimes you have to give it a little tap with a hard object that you don't mind getting scratched or dinged you will wipe it off a little bit and you're going to take and you're going to get your Zippo lighter fluid and you're going to fill it I've already filled mine a little bit so I don't have to fill it a whole bunch don't fill it past this notch or you will have spillage take put your wick back in the hole in that rod, make sure this is seated, tighten it, make sure it's good and tight, make sure that this end is good and tight. See, this unscrews. See, I'm already having fluid because it's coming out, so make sure this is good and tight. Wipe off the area just to make sure. You don't have any leak or any um, accidental droplets. Wipe off your area, good. Let it let this set. 
like this for about five, 10 minutes so it can soak in real good. Now we're gonna try to light it right off the bat just to show you, um, but do let it sit for a little bit so it can have that time so it won't burn that wick down so quick. Now you're gonna put your thumb over the well like always and make sure that flat surface is what you're striking against, not the thin side, the flat side. Nope. There you go. See, this was a new one. So I had to take about five, 10 strikes to take off that protective film that's on there. So once you have it lit, blow it out. Only let it burn for a few seconds. See how that wick was before and now how quick it burned down? That's because I didn't let it sit long enough. So that's the whole purpose in letting it sit for about five to 10 minutes. It's way better effect. So when you're done, blow it out, reseat it like you always did on the other videos. Make sure it's good and tight. And you've done your wick replacement. Um, repeat as necessary. And you know, use some common sense. Make sure you use you know the proper things to take these apart. Make sure you use the proper fluid, which is the Zippo fluid. Make sure you wipe off your um, match prior to lighting. Make sure you wipe off your area prior to lighting. You don't want to light yourself on fire. So use those simple small steps, it takes a few seconds, and just be safe and smart about this. It's a simple tool that's been used for thousands of years, um, the concept anyway. So um, be safe. Hope this video helped you a little bit. Make sure you share with your friends, follow us on social media. We are needing Facebook followers. So make sure you follow us at www.facebook.com forward slash strike survival. And make sure you go to our website, www.strikesurvival.com and get all the up-to-date cool fire starting tools and survival gear. Thank you for watching and we will see you again soon on another awesome video.